I hope not, because we don't have an infinite amount of time. Okay, so let's take a look at our first form. How many people have seen this before? Slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept. What are the two words that make up slope-intercept? Slope and? Intercept. All right, my little goldfish, good job. Slope and intercept. If an equation, if a linear equation is written in this form, what are you essentially being given? The intercept, specifically the y-intercept, and the, yay, the slope and the intercept, exactly. y equals what? y equals mx plus b. So which one is the slope? Okay, so this right here is the slope. Yeah, in this case it's 2. And in this case, what's the intercept? What comma b? Not for this example, I'm saying, but in general, it would be x b. No, zero. Zero. Y intercept is always. What's the x intercept of a y? Inter the x value of a y intercept. This is giving you the slope and the intercept. So if you have the intercept and the slope, what can you write? Uh, yeah. If you have if you have the slope and the y-intercept, you can write the equation in what form? And if you have the equation in slope-intercept form, what can you find? The slope and the y-intercept. So for example, let's say I said the slope was m equals 6 and the y-intercept was 0, 9. Can someone tell me what the equation would be? What is it? Y equals 6x plus 9. Exactly. So let's say I had y equals 2x minus 4. Can someone tell me the slope? Yeah, what is it to get? Yep, and what's the intercept? Nope. There we go, 0, negative 4. 0, negative 4. Excellent. So if you have 1, you can go back and forth quite easily. 3x plus what? 16. So if we wanted to graph that, how many points are we looking for? Need just two points. What's the easiest point to get? What is the y-intercept? Someone tell me. Zero comma sixteen. I like it. Zero comma sixteen. I like that. So let's graph that one point. I like having arrows on these. That's nice. Zero. I know. I did. I did. Oh, I'll oh, cry. Cry me a river. Be Justin. Justin Timberlake and then jump in it. <laughs> Come on. That was pretty funny. We need another point. How do we do another point? Can you find the slope? We know the slope. What's the slope? Oh. No, we can find it, but we know it. What is it? Oh, the slope is 3. So what does the slope of 3 mean? So that equals 3 over 1 is rise over the... So for every 1 unit we go over, how much do we go up? So we go over 1, we should go up. So over 1, up 3. So we have 2 points. Can someone tell me what that next point is? 1 comma... 19. You have two points. What do you do now? You just connect the dots. Do you need any more points to graph this line? No, no you do not. No, you do not need anything else. This is totally a subjective term. What does that mean? <laughs> no, it does. It could be easier for some people. It's a relative term. It's subjective and it's relative, right? Yeah. For example, this for me is a little bit harder than the AP calculus that I have to do because I haven't done this for so long that it annoys me sometimes, right? I'm like, man, I have to remember how to connect dots? Dang it. But wow. AP calculus is on autopilot. Let's look at it for you guys. Which one would be easier, AP calculus or graphing lines? Graphing lines. It's all relative, kids. It's oh, all no, relative. No, the baseline, if the equation is given to you in slope-intercept form, this would be the easiest way to graph it. You graph the intercept, and you plot a second point, and you connect the dots. Are you always going to be given a line in this form? No. no. We were looking at equations that had this form. You know, here's an example. This is called standard form. And if you're going to graph this, what should you do? Connect the what? Connect which two points? Um, intercepts, yeah. In this case, connect the intercepts is the easiest thing to do. You could, what could you do? You could, 
could isolate what? You could isolate y. And that would be 2y is equal to negative 3x plus. Now what do I divide both sides by? Negative 3 over 2x plus. Would you get the same graph? Yes. You should. If you don't, then something went wrong because they're both the same statement, just written differently. It depends on what. Yeah, I really like point slope form. Does anybody know why I like slope point slope form, my little goldfish? <laughs> just keep going. Just keep talking. That's good. I, I have no idea. This is the point slope form. Has anybody seen that before? Yeah. Anybody want to guess why I like this? No. Which where do we where do we use this a whole lot? Uh, AP calculus. In AP calculus, we use this all the time. It's very fast. It maximizes the amount of time. It minimizes the amount of time spent drawing lines and sorry, writing the equations for lines. Because this right here, you can be done. This what's the what does m represent? Slope. Slope. And what does this represent? What does x1 y1 represent? Any point on the line. Why is that kind of cool? That's cool. Well, and if you have a slope and any point, this one right here is only slope intercept, right? What do you have to have? You have to have the intercept. Are you always going to have the intercept right in front of you? No. Sometimes you're going to point in a slope. And if you have a point in a slope, you use point slope form. The key thing is, are these just three of an infinite number? Sure. These are the three most common forms, that's two m's, of a line equation. Those are the most common. The one we're working on right now, the one we're focusing on right now, is the middle one right here. This is the one we're focusing on right now. Some people tend to think later that like that's the easiest one for no other reason than that's the one they've used over and over and over again. Do I necessarily think overall in the big picture that's the easiest one? Kind of, maybe, because it's the easiest one to see at the beginning, but then down the road, which one's the most useful? I will tell you, in my opinion, this one is going to be the most useful down the road. That being said, can you ignore the other forms? No. no. no you absolutely can.